I see some areas that could use glue right now, too. The team is racing to excavate the footprints, along with dozens of fish fossils tangled together in a log jam before storms wash them away. We're up against the clock here. The stuff that could be exposed right now is going to get ruined by the rain. But then Robert comes across something that looks very unusual. That's kind of... What is going on right there? Are we sure this isn't crocodilian? That's not crocodilian. No. All right, I'm gonna try this piece right here. I'm going from the top and then twist up and it separates on right on that line. Oh. That's skin right there. That's actually God. scaly skin. No, 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 no. Look, look, look. Look at that pattern right there. Have you ever That's seen elongated insane. scales like that before, Dave? Scutellates and uh, birds. Just careful. Oh, oh it's my changing God. again. It's changing again. Oh we're seeing it for the first time in 66 million years. I think we got ourselves a dinosaur. A dinosaur fossil. And unlike the Triceratops, this is located in the log jam, the mass death layer, surrounded by the fish with spherules in their gills. This is the most incredible thing that we could possibly imagine here, the best case scenario. We're excavating this mass death layer of fish from the surge sent up by the impact, and we've got dinosaur remains. The one thing that we would always want to find at this site, and here we've got it. This is unreal. I, I, ca I cannot process this in my brain. No, I am absolutely blown away by this. Just my heart is literally pumping out of my chest, wondering what is behind there, just a couple centimeters back in the outcrop. What is waiting for us back there? This is the team keeps digging. Scales get big again over on this set. So this could be a rib cage. It could be laying against ribs that are curved. There's something here. That's hard. More bone. That's bone right next to the skin. Yeah. But that, that's an articular surface right there. So this is either a hip or a shoulder element. After hours of painstaking work. And we can go from the thigh of the animal. There's the knee. And then you've got the little calf muscles of the uh, dinosaur where they're bulging out. And you go down to the ankle bones. And these are the toes of the feet. We've got nails at the tips of the toes. It's a beautifully preserved leg, all articulated, covered with skin. The complete leg of a dinosaur. In my wildest dreams, I never expected to find a dinosaur leg in this deposit. Yeah. I mean, and then it's got skin and tissue. It does look just like a drumstick. It looks like a Thanksgiving turkey just laid out in the ground. And this weird scale pattern on the thigh of the animal, which we've never seen in a dinosaur before. Well, thesaurs don't have any form of defense, so they have to have camouflage or something. That's a good point. So this could have been some sort of camouflage marking. Yeah. Robert thinks he has found the body in question. A dinosaur that might itself have witnessed the cataclysmic impact. Dinosaur fossils are not known from the last years of the Cretaceous. And it was unclear whether they were already extinct or in decline or what was going on. So they were just sort of absent. And this answers that question. Were dinosaurs still there then? Well, yes. This one likely died in that search. For such big claims, Robert needs verification. He's brought the dinosaur leg to London to get a second opinion. And then here are the pads of the toes. We see all those beautiful scales lined up from Professor Paul Barrett, an expert in ornithischian dinosaurs from the Natural History Museum. So what do you think this might be? When we look at the leg, it has claws, like the claws we see in small, agile, bipedal running dinosaurs that are plant eaters. We can rule out things like Triceratops, partly just because it's not big and stocky. And the proportions of those legs are also different from some of the other plant eaters we see. 
in that they have this rather long ankle and shin compared with its thigh bone. So as we narrow those possibilities down, what we're left with probably is an animal called a thessalosaur.